What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that post notification button so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, we finna do a full walkthrough on how to do a cartoon head. Without further ado, let's jump right into this thing. Okay, first thing you wanna do after you done dragged and dropped your picture inside Adobe Illustrator, you wanna drop the opacity down on the picture. Then you wanna lock that layer. You wanna create you a new layer right above it. Come up here to your brush. Come to this new brush. Click OK. Go to pressure. Put three right here three on this side now you'll only be able to get that option if you're using a digital art tablet and I'm using a UG the one you can draw right onto the, the monitor and it comes with this little pin you know what I'm saying so you will not be able to get the pressure option if you're not using a tablet first thing you want to do one thing I like about Adobe you can zoom in as close as you need to to make sure you get in some pretty clean lines and if you don't got you a tablet I recommend you get you one man so you can have that pressure option because once you able to set your pressure on your on your brushes it give you this nice looking line these nice lines with our pencil tool so you want to come right here select your pencil move this color to the top make sure the bottom color is locked so we can fill in the glasses and a couple more areas
Okay, now that we did our line work, we made sure everything was clean. And while you're doing your line work, you wanna make sure you're closing off areas. You wanna make sure there's no opening, like in the neck or in the ears. So when we do the coloring method, you ain't gotta worry about it messing up. So make sure my lips closed off. Make sure around the head is closed off okay first thing you want to do is you want to select everything then you want to come to object expand appearance then you want to click merge on your pathfinder to make all our lines one now you want to drag this to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy of the line work Lock the top copy. Go to the bottom. Now we're going to select a good skin tone to start out with for our base color. rectangle tool drag the color over your artwork right click the color go to arrange send to back and you'll know if you did that step right if you look over here at your layers and you can see your line work on top of the color after you do that you want to select everything together and you want to click merge on your pathfinder to make it one with the color now right click on to to the color isolate select group and now we can isolate every every area that's closed off that's why you got to make sure your stuff is closed off if you want to color color it different from everything else okay now the first thing we're going to do we're going to edit the color real quick i want to make it so let's come to edit, go to color, just color balance. Now, uh, 
isolate select group let's delete and we don't have to worry about making a mistake and selecting our black line work because we locked all the layers up just hold uh control and press z i'm not sure why. oh that's why i'm selecting that. got the base color out the way it's time to do the shading and one thing I like to do when I'm shading I like to start with my dark colors so let's create a new layer in between the line work and the base color come over to your sample tool sample the skin tone and now we're gonna find a good shadow And if we have to tweak it later, we will. We're just trying to get something good to start out with. Okay. We're going to start with our darker shadows. And I come over here to your pencil tool. Make sure your color is on the top. And the bottom one is locked. I like to shade with the pencil tool. So now I'm looking at the pictures. I'm looking at the picture. And I'm seeing where my dark shadows is. Seeing where all my dark shadows, and I'm just copying it. And I just keep looking back and forth. Just make sure I'm placing them in the right spots. Put it 
under our dark shadows we're gonna go a little lighter on the skin tone so we're gonna sample the skin Texture. So now we're gonna come 
There you have it, you guys, how to make a cartoon head. If you're new to the channel, you already know it. The Dumo, he coming soon. And I'm out this thing.